Okay, let's start off. This is what you need. If you're flying a Vision or a Vision Plus or any other future product that runs on the 5.8 frequency, you need one of these amplifiers. Very important, it runs on 5.8, otherwise your Phantom won't receive the signal. The amp I ordered was a 5.8 thousand milliwatt uh, off Amazon. At the time it was 65 pounds. When I first looked for these, they were in the £100 plus mark. Although I ordered the 1000 milliwatt, uh, he sent me the 2000 milliwatt, which I was thankful for. I drilled a small hole through for the SMA cable off the amplifier and I cut the wires. You won't make the same mistake because I have here, you can see that I've repaired it. Um, and I'll uh, solder and shrink wrap that, as you can see there. Open up the transmitter with a crosshead screwdriver. Use a sharp blade to remove any silicon or whatever the white stuff is and pop off the original connector. Be very careful at this point. If th This is the hardest part of the modification in my opinion. Attach the female pigtail. I found this cable quite hard to find. Um, especially finding the correct cable, which is female on both ends. Uh, eBay, Amazon, just be patient with your search results. You'll hear it clicks into place quite nicely. Uh, give it a shake, check it doesn't come loose. You could probably apply some PVA, keep it in place, a bit of blue tack, whatever you think's best. Don't know what to recommend. Attach the other end of the pigtail to the amplifier. You don't have to place it on the front. For my circumstances, it was definitely the best place. I've also used two small screws to secure it in position. Next, I'm filing down the bumps on the back of the transmitter, as this is where I'm going to mount my power bank. The power bank I have came recommended and is one of the best I've ever used. Uh, due to the output function and reliability to date. It was around £40 and came with plenty of accessories for different outputs. I initially velcroed the back cover to the battery. Uh, the battery was quite heavy so it fell off. Uh, in the end I've swapped this for hard as nails. Um, so this is a permanent modification. Plug in the amplifier and power on the battery pack. Remember to always do this step first. Never turn on your transmitter before powering on the amplifier, as I'm told this will damage it. You could also add a attenuator to reduce the power to prolong the life of the amplifier, but I haven't bothered with this step at the moment. I'd recommend CE mode, one beep to prolong its life. This is to show that the transmitter still works with the amplifier. And there you have it. Since doing this I've had 40 minutes of flight on several visions, um, including the Plus, and I've not had a problem, and it didn't cause any interference with any other flyers, pilots. So all I need to do is now is a range test.